we're here in uh, Grand Forks, East Grand Forks, and we're in the uh, RV park and uh, ready to go to work. So we're all hooked up. Got the mat out over here on the other side. There you go. Home sweet home for the next two weeks to three weeks. All right, we're moving day. We're being evacuated. So we gotta get the trailer ready to move to higher ground in the park. He's so upset. <laughs> Give you a little look around. We haven't even uh, gotten the truck ready to move. And everyone else has already moved. We're all moving to higher ground. Okay, so here we are. We're uh, back at work. Clocking in. So we have to be here uh, 15 minutes till, and uh, we're here at the uh, scale house clocking in. This is our garb that we have to wear our PPE, personal protection equipment. Um, you have to have this on whenever you're walking on the facility, on the grounds. You always have to have this on. So this is what you'll look like. And. Uh, Looks good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna be another long, long night. Another it's gonna be long very night. Cold. We don't have a whole lot of farmers. Uh, last night we started out with four. We ended up with one, and uh, the ground's still too wet. Um, they're they're um, actually pulling the trucks through the field because with they would all sink tracks, into the mud. Yeah. with tractors with all tracks, even the ones with the eight tires, they can't even make it through. So the all tracks are pulling the trucks. Some of the trucks are sinking in the ground so far that they're sinking up to the axles. Uh, last night, uh, I heard from one of the other foremans that at his piling uh, area, that uh, the farmers that were coming in there, uh, one of the trucks almost tipped over in the field and uh, that farmer shut it down so uh, he wouldn't uh, incur any damage or uh, any death. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is how treacherous it is out here when it starts raining so much and the, uh, the fields get so uh, saturated with water. Um, it's, it's quite something what the uh, farmers have to go through to get this harvest done and the waiting game and waiting on the weather and just everything involved. We better. We better clock in. We better clock in. So, time to go to work. See you next time. All right. Bye. Bye bye. It, fe it felt like show? a reality show that I signed up for, and it was to see how much I could take, how little <laughs> sleep I could do with, and and uh, standing for 12 hours in the cold, and and uh, <laughs> that's, that's what it felt like every day. Yep. So if anybody ever wants to experience this, I think it's well worth it. You didn't say that a couple days ago, but <laughs> now that we've had some She's sleep, kidding. now that. We were really tired. We were really tired. <laughs> it's you're gonna, taken. You're going to change things. You're going to push yourself, and uh, you know what? No, you it's gotta, worth it. It's worth it to try it. It's worth it to once. try it. You got to change things up every once in a while. Mm -hmm. So and give it a go. It's taken four days to get our sleep back. I feel like it's. Yeah. I feel like it's I, I finally feel uh, more normal today yeah. with my sleep pattern. So it's not easy. You know, I'm not going to tell you that. 
Oh, heck um, no. I will tell you that uh, I think it's a misnomer. Everybody out there with their YouTube videos that have done this, that uh, you're going to have to throw your clothes away and burn them. That's uh, not true. The smell? There's no the smell. smell. No, the smell it's, is from the, the it's from the plant. plant. It's from the yeah. So no. No, I washed them and I'm going to save them in case we do it again next year. Now they do get stained. Yeah. Uh, so you're not going to get the stains out. So don't use good clothes. But yeah, the mud is th just the point horrendous. Was, is, I mean, I bought these clothes for nothing. Some of them for a dollar. I'm not. I yeah. I don't plan on throwing them away. But so, your clothes don't stink. No, they do not. That's not true. All that. So on our way home. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> so what we have going on today is I'm the piler. So what we're doing is we're piling the beach on that big mountain right there. What I do is I swing the boom that all the beats are coming off the conveyor belt and I swing it to where it's evenly distributed and we keep the beats on the concrete. So that's my job for the day is beat piler. <laughs>